Israeli officials recently shared something they find very important and a bit scary. They say a prophecy is getting closer and they want the world to pay attention. They even gave a final warning, making people worried about what might happen in the future. This prophecy is not new. It's been part of many religions like Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Zoroastrianism. It talks about the coming of a special leader, often known as a Messiah. Israel, where these religions started, is crucial in making this prophecy happen. However, not everyone agrees with this, and there's been strong opposition. The prophecy is a big deal in debates among religious scholars and followers. So what is the prophecy about? Let's dive into the video to learn about the terrifying prophecy shocking religious people worldwide. In the depths of ancient times, Israel's story began with Abram, a man of 75 who heeded God's call, embarking on a journey to Canaan with his wife Sarai and nephew Lot. Their arrival in the promised land faced challenges, with Kana and already home to tribes like the Hittites and Amorites. Canaan was a mosaic of tribes with unique cultures and beliefs coexisting through farming and trade. Abram's relationship with the Canaanites was a mix of friendship and trouble. Yet they persevered in making Canaan their home. Significance of Israel's land, Israel's land, holds immense historical, cultural, and religious importance for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Jerusalem, its capital, is the Holy Land, housing sacred sites like the Temple Mount, the Western Wall, and Mount Zion. For Christians, Israel is intricately tied to Jesus' life. While in Islam, it's seen as a significant place related to Isa, one of Allah's messengers. <laughs> Over millennia, Israel witnessed the ebb and flow of empires, from the Assyrians to the Babylonians. In 1000 BC, the Israelite tribes united under King Saul, leading to the construction of the first temple by King Solomon on the Temple Mount. However, the kingdom's division and subsequent conquests shaped its complex history. In 722 BC, the Assyrians captured the northern kingdom, in 586 BC, the Babylonians conquered the southern kingdom, destroying the first temple. The return of Jewish exiles marked the second temple period under Persian rule. In the first century, see Christianity emerged with Jesus, but the Romans destroyed the second temple in 70 C. These historical events, religious texts, and archeological findings profoundly shaped the Jewish people's identity. In the 1920s and 1930s, Jewish immigration to Palestine led to tensions with Arab communities, sparking clashes due to conflicting goals in the region. The rebirth of Israel and declaration of independence. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion proudly declared the establishment of the State of Israel, recognizing the profound link between the Jewish people and the land of Palestine, this momentous declaration, shaped by the shadows of the Holocaust, expressed gratitude for international support. Now let's rewind the clock to the ancient world. Circa the fourth millennium BC, envisioning the arid landscapes of the Middle East. In discovering the earliest traces of Jerusalem, known as Jerusalem in ancient texts, throughout the ages, this city witnessed the ebb and flow of powers, Canaanites, Jebusites, and Israelites all leaving their mark. Around 1000 BC, King David played a pivotal role, capturing Jerusalem from the Jebusites and establishing it as the capital of the United Kingdom of Israel. The city flourished under King Solomon's reign, adorned with majestic structures, including the first temple underscoring its spiritual and political importance. Jerusalem's significance reverberates across Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. For Jews, it's the holy city where God's presence is palpable, especially at the Western Wall. In Christianity, Jerusalem is intricately linked to Jesus' life. And resurrection, with the Church of the Holy Sepulchre standing as a vital pilgrimage site. Islam holds the esteemed status of the third holiest city with Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock revered. Jerusalem's history unfolds with the rise and fall of empires and civilizations.
from Israelites to Romans, Arabs, Crusaders, and Ottomans, all leaving their imprint. The city, once a coveted prize for conquerors, became a melting pot of cultural exchange. In the present day, Jerusalem remains a mosaic of different faiths, divided along religious and political lines. The old city, adorned with holy sites, is a testament to its rich history. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict adds layers of complexity, with both sides claiming it as their capital. The city's status remains a focal point in peace talks and international diplomacy, showing a tapestry woven with ancient threads and modern complexities. Jerusalem's importance in different religions. Jerusalem stands as a spiritual nexus, profoundly significant to Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. With its historical ties, the Temple Mount forms a crucial element in this shared reverence, affirming the deep connection to Judaism. In Judaism, it holds unparalleled importance as the holiest city. It is intricately woven into the religious and historical identity of the Jewish people. According to Jewish tradition, Jerusalem is where God chose to reveal divine presence on the Western Wall, or Wailing Wall, is a poignant symbol of this sacred bond, where Jews gather to pray, demonstrating their strong connection to God and their ancestors. The Temple Mount, believed to be the site of the first and second Jewish temples, stands as a revered place for worship and pilgrimage. Christianity, too, reveres Jerusalem, associating it profoundly with the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. The city is closely linked to the key events of Jesus' life, crucifixion and resurrection, as documented in the New Testament. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the old city of Jerusalem is considered the site of these significant events. This sacred place is a vital pilgrimage site for Christians worldwide. Drawing millions each year, the Via Dolorosa, tracing the route Jesus took while carrying the cross, is another poignant Christian landmark in Jerusalem. To the east lies the Mount of Olives, a significant Christian site where believers think Jesus ascended to heaven. Further, in Islam also, it holds the status of the third holiest city following Mecca and Medina. The religious significance is rooted in the association of the Prophet Muhammad with the city. Muslims believe in Muhammad's miraculous journey from Mecca to Jerusalem, culminating in his ascent to heaven from the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Temple Mount. The Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam, and the iconic Dome of the Rock are structures that underscore Jerusalem's profound importance. The Golden Dome serves as both an architectural and religious symbol, emphasizing the city's centrality in Islam. The profound significance of Jerusalem transcends religious rituals, weaving into the fabric of history and geopolitics. This ancient city, a crucible of diverse faiths, has left an indelible mark on the historical and geopolitical landscape of the region. Jerusalem has been a central point of religious devotion, conflict, and aspirations for sovereignty. Its complex nature, marked by overlapping religious and historical claims, has given rise to tensions and disagreements among diverse groups. Throughout history, Jerusalem witnessed the rise and fall of empires and civilizations, from the ancient Israelites and Canaanites to the Romans, Byzantine, as Arabs, Crusaders, and Ottomans. This city became a coveted prize for conquerors and a vibrant religious and cultural exchange hub. In the present day, Jerusalem remains a city divided along religious and political lines. The old city encapsulates the coexistence of various faiths within limited space, with majestic holy sites and labyrinthine streets. Third temple in the Bible. The tale unfolds of Solomon's temple, a majestic structure built by King Solomon on the revered Temple Mount in Jerusalem. It stood as a tribute to God from the 10th to the 6th centuries BC, but faced destruction during the Babylonian siege of Jerusalem under King Nebuchadnezzar's rule. The subsequent creation known as Herod's Temple emerged as a testament to faith, initially a humble place of worship. It underwent a grand transformation during King Herod the Great's era. 
This architectural marvel stood tall for over 580 years until the Romans intervened, resulting in its destruction. Post the second temple's demise, a fervent desire arose among the Jewish people to erect a third, resilient temple, a sacred space that surpassed its predecessors in magnificence and endurance. Building the third temple has been far from easy. The ambitious vision faced opposition, especially from Islamic nations, as Jerusalem, its proposed location, is shared with Palestine. The complexities extend to the division of Jerusalem. Recognizing West Jerusalem as Israel's capital, while East Jerusalem serves as Palestine's capital, marked by the Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount. The challenges aside, researchers delved into the site's history, stirring controversies about the authenticity of the previous Jewish temples. Surprisingly, beneath the Al-Aqsa Mosque, a significant Islamic monument lay a mikveh, a Jewish ritual bath, a revelation dating back centuries that debunked doubts and bolstered the Jewish claim. These groundbreaking discoveries concealed in the British Mandate archives to prevent tensions, shifted public perception. Israeli officials, armed with historical evidence, issued a final warning. The newfound clarity on Jerusalem's past adds weight to the enduring quest for the construction of the Third Temple. Now comes the challenges of building the Third Temple. Building a new temple entails navigating a complex terrain, especially when it comes to the revered Temple Mount known as Haram al-Sharif in Islam. The site is home to Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, making it a religiously sensitive location. Selecting a suitable site involves careful consideration of accessibility, symbolism, and the surrounding environment. Securing permits and approvals presents a bureaucratic hurdle. With temples needing to adhere to zoning and regulatory requirements, Collaborating closely with local authorities is imperative to meet legal obligations and obtain necessary clearances for construction. Designing the temple itself demands a delicate balance between tradition and innovation. Architects must craft structures that reflect the cultural and religious beliefs of the community, requiring thoughtful consultation with religious leaders. The financial aspect is a significant challenge with temples relying on donations. Fundraising efforts become crucial, necessitating engagement with individuals, businesses, and philanthropic organizations to garner support for the sacred project. The temple project's realization involves a persuasive effort to attract donations. Emphasizing the project's importance and value aims to encourage potential donors to contribute generously. Building the temple itself proves challenging given its intricate carvings, detailed stonework, and elaborate decoration. Skilled craftsmen and artists are essential, requiring meticulous selection and verification of their expertise. Further, employing old-fashioned building methods adds another layer of complexity, relying on specific traditional materials. Sourcing these materials, such as special stones or wood, can be time-consuming and intricate. Finding craftsmen with a profound understanding of these traditional materials poses a challenge. Endurance is a key consideration, requiring engineers to design a temple capable of withstanding challenges like earthquakes, extreme weather, and regular wear and tear. Collaborating closely with architects and engineers ensures the temple stands the test of time. The Sanhedrin, integral to the temple project, recreates the ancient environment by cultivating farms and forests. However, debates on the authority of the Sanhedrin and concerns about potential environmental impacts arise, adding complexity to the temple's revival. The challenge in rebuilding the third temple, one challenge in rebuilding the temple involves a crucial step, having a flawless red heifer. This unique animal plays a vital role in purifying Jews allowing them to participate in temple services. The meticulous purification process follows the guidance in the Bible, specifically in Numbers chapter 19. Former international director of the Temple Institute, Rabbi Chaim Richmond, 
is on a dedicated mission to bring a flawless red heifer back to Israel. This is no small task considering only nine red heifers were used in purification rituals over a thousand years between the first and second temples, making them extremely rare. Despite the rarity, Rabbi Cham Richmond and knowledgeable rabbis from the Temple Institute are committed to overcoming challenges. They are leveraging modern scientific technology, collaborating with skilled cattle farmers to breed a red heifer. The process involves using frozen embryos from North America's red Angus implanted into Israel's domestic cattle. Breeding a red heifer is no simple feat. It must be born in Israel and free from any physical imperfections or flaws that could diminish its perfect appearance. Marks, spots, or abnormalities are not acceptable. Moreover, the red heifer must not have been used for any work, especially plowing, as it needs to remain untouched and solely dedicated to temple rituals. Robert Chaim Richmond's determination has led him to explore ancient books and employ various scientific methods in this intricate process. It's crucial to recognize that achieving a red heifer is just one requirement for rebuilding the temple, signaling the existence of more challenges on the path. Another critical facet of the third temple's preparation involves training the Kohanim, a distinct group of priests led by the Sanhedrin and the temple movement. These priests undergo rigorous training to grasp the proper actions, mannerisms, and equipment usage necessary for the new temple. Kohanim plays a pivotal role in the temple rituals, and their training ensures they carry out their duties with precision and adherence to religious standards. The Sanhedrin is addressing this challenge by working on breeding them using Red Angus cattle. Beyond the temple project's religious dimensions, the geopolitical landscape surrounding Jerusalem is crucial. The city housing the temple has long been a focal point in international discussions. The construction of a new temple holds the potential to impact relationships between countries, especially Israel and its neighbors. There's a concern that extremist groups might exploit this development contributing to regional instability. One more vital element in this elaborate process is the construction of the new altar, an indispensable component for offering sacrifices in the temple. This construction must take place at the original site atop the revered temple mount. The altar's design is strategic, allowing for easy dismantling and reassembly in another location until it finds its permanent position. The altar's unique design accommodates its temporary relocation, highlighting the adaptability required in the meticulous planning for the Third Temple. This versatility ensures that the altar can be carefully transported to its designated location when the time is right. Crafting the altar involves intricate steps and adherence to specific religious guidelines. The meticulous efforts put into the altar's design and construction emphasize the reverence and dedication with which the Jewish community approaches the restoration of the temple. The meticulous efforts extend beyond the altar to the careful breeding of the red heifer. This sacred animal, free from imperfections, holds significance in the purification process. The coordination between training Kohanim and crafting the altar underlines. The complexity and dedication invested in the comprehensive plan to build the Third Temple. The determination amidst challenges. The Jewish community's steadfast commitment to building the Third Temple stems from historical challenges. With Muslims presently controlling the Temple Mount, where previous temples stood, Jews faced restrictions on entry and worship. This adversity has spurred extraordinary efforts to create a sacred space for Jewish worship. Orthodox Jews view temple reconstruction as the primary solution to challenges faced by their community. However, Muslim control over the Temple Mount poses a significant obstacle. Reclaiming this site requires political action beyond legal measures, prompting the exploration of alternative approaches. Recognizing the impasse, international organizations and states outside Israel may collaboration among leaders of different faiths becomes crucial in navigating the Temple Mount's complexities. This collective effort is essential for realizing the temple reconstruction. While legal measures fall short, securing funds for the ambitious project becomes a formidable challenge.
community-driven temple construction heavily relies on donations, necessitating extensive fundraising efforts. Effective communication strategies are pivotal to convey the project's importance and encourage generous contributions. Traditional construction practices face hurdles in today's industry. Many temples adhere to age-old building methods and materials, demanding the location and sourcing of specific stones or wood. Working with craftsmen skilled in traditional materials becomes a challenge requiring a delicate balance between cultural preservation and modern construction standards. Preserving cultural heritage while ensuring structural integrity becomes a paramount concern. Peoples, more than structures of worship, are enduring symbols of faith and culture. Two of Siloam besides the Third Temple. Let's get into a historical journey to the 8th century BC, where King Hezekiah undertook a remarkable project the construction of the Siloam Pool. This ancient water source in Jerusalem played a crucial role in ensuring a constant water supply during times of war. King Hezekiah's engineers carved a path through solid rock in a remarkable engineering feat, creating the Siloam Pool approximately two zero feet from the Gihon Spring. This pool, measuring 53 feet in length, 18 feet in width, and 19 feet in depth, became a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Sadly, the Babylonians' destructive attack on Jerusalem led to the Pool of Siloam's demise. It took nearly 70 years during the time of Nehemiah for the city walls and the pool to be painstakingly rebuilt. This restoration marked a resilient comeback from the echoes of destruction. During the reign of Herod, the great, the Pool of Siloam underwent further reconstruction and expansion. It evolved into a gathering place for the impoverished and sick, seeking healing through its refreshing waters. The Pool of Siloam held significance during the Feast of Tabernacles, a joyous occasion deeply rooted in biblical instructions. This feast commemorates the Israelites' liberation from Egypt, with the pool's water playing a vital role in ceremonial rituals due to its proximity to the temple. Feasts like the Feast of Tabernacles occupy a cherished place in Israeli tradition. They serve as poignant reminders of pivotal historical events, symbolizing the cherished value of freedom. The water from the Pool of Siloam established a profound connection to Israel's cultural and religious heritage. Conflict in the Middle East, the recent escalation of conflict in the Middle East, particularly the attacks and airstrikes between Israel and Hamas, has created significant obstacles to potential agreements with the Muslim community regarding the rebuilding of the Third Temple. The violence and loss of lives have intensified tensions, leading to global condemnation and calls for a ceasefire. This unexpected turn of events has profoundly impacted cooperation efforts causing delays and shifting the focus away from collaborative endeavors to rebuild the temple. The situation remains complex and the path forward is uncertain amid the ongoing conflict. So what do you think of the mysterious turn in Middle East? Israel shocking people worldwide. Comment below and subscribe for more.